Hello. I wanted to go over how to use Excel to complete the simplex approach to linear programming. Uh, this slide I have on here first just has this sample problem I'm going to quickly solve. Where we have a bakery makes jumbo cookies and regular cookies. The oven can make at most 200 cookies per day. Each jumbo cookie requires two ounces of flour. Each regular cookie requires one ounce of flour. And there are 300 ounces of flour available. The income from each jumbo cookie is 13 cents. And from each regular cookie of 7 cents. How uh, many of each size cookies should be made to maximize the income? Now, I had already put this through inside of Excel. Um, I made the data table on here just to specify which parts. So I have the regular cookie versus jumbo cookie uh, here on the top, and the flour and oven here being used as the variables, along with the income here on top. So the seven cents per regular cookie and 13 cents for each jumbo cookie I have here on the top from a problem that I had on here. And I made this data table based upon what we had in the problem. So the oven can make at most 200 cookies per day Hence why I have 200 here is the max. And it has 2 ounces of flour. And uh, for the jumbo cookie and one for the regular. So I have the 1 and 2 on here. And same thing for the other one. Where there's 300 ounces of flour available. And we have that portion on here as well shown underneath the oven constraints uh, underneath the flower constraints on here so to perform the simplex method especially on newer Excel um, applications although the older ones should work relatively the same just a few less steps um, in order to complete this we need to navigate to the top here underneath insert and get add-ins since it's not automatically a part of Excel. And in order for us to solve these, we need an applicate one of the add-ins called solver. We type solver in here, and we want to add the very first one on the top. And it asks if you agree to the terms and conditions. Once you put that into there, you will get the add-on. Once it loads, of course. Here we are. The objective function, that's the one that we had there on the top. So, just to quickly specify that, this objective function was both of these terms. And if it wants to actually select both, that would be nice. The objective function being, excuse me, this particular cell right here that I had showing the actual function itself where we multiplied this first cell um, here with whatever the number of cookies that we had plus this cell here with the number of cookies that we have here as well. Uh, it shows up as a zero in here currently, but that will change once we get through the problem. Same thing with these other calculations. These ones were also based upon the matrix that I had down here. But putting that into the solver here, objective function it was in that D3 spot. The oh, and we wanted to maximize that. The variables being the ones that we have that we are trying to solve for, being in these two empty cells and it's B2 and C2. And they're assuming non-negative, especially since we're doing a maximum problem. We don't want these to be negative. So that's given on there. 
uh, the constraints that I have showing that whatever the value is for D4 here, again based upon the amount of flour per each cookie, needs to be less than or equal to this 300. And then same thing for the oven constraint. That one being based upon um, the oven portion for the regular and jumbo cookie has to be less than or equal to that 200. Then for this, we want to make sure we specify, whoops, we want to make sure that we specify that we want to use the standard LP slash simplex engine. And then from here, we want to hit this, um, yeah, we want to hit this button that looks like a play button uh, for us to find this answer. And if I was actually on the data table, that would be nice. It gives us the values of 100 for the regular and jumbo cookies. It finds specifically the amount, that maximum, that maximum amount as 20 from the objective function and then the each of these values at 300 and 200 over here. 